Hey, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 18th. So this may or may not be for you. We're going to get a couple of these for an overall energy, one of these, and then this deck right here. What do we got for the 18th? This ought to be interesting. What do we have for the 18th? I don't know if you guys all noticed the moon tonight. I just got back from dinner with my favorite man, my father. And we watched the moon the whole way home, which was pretty interesting. Just me and him, it was a great dinner. High Priestess, intuition, secrets, keeping to oneself, knowing that something is coming, right? You know it, and I know it. <laughs> something is coming, and we all know it. We do. Right now, it's still hidden, but you notice that moon. The moon is going to shine light on a situation. You probably have an incl inclination as to what is going to be revealed. You maybe have been uh, doubting your own thoughts. Your intuition may be telling you something and you're doubting it. Well, I'm telling you something right now. Don't doubt it. Because whatever it is that you're, you're thinking and keeping to yourself and wondering if it's, you know, if your intuition is playing games with you or what, I don't think so. The mystery is about to be revealed. With the moon. And I can't make this shit up. The secret is about to be revealed. What has been hidden and unknown is going to come to light. And that is what's going on. This is a very, very, very powerful full moon in regards to your relationships. In regards to what you need to do to bring balance and harmony back to your life. Somebody may have been hiding the truth and keeping, you know, not wanting to reveal the tr truth or whatever, because this is, the moon is ruled by fear, you know, there's fear. This is escapism. Somebody may have been trying to escape the reality, keeping their true feelings or keeping their truth to themselves or whatever. Well, that's just about over. Secrets are about to be revealed. I hope you're ready. I think you know what this is about. Very intuitive, okay? Somebody knows what this is about. They may have been lying to themselves or doubting their gut or doubting themselves or, you know, not, not really... Believing in themselves or whatnot. But the great unknown is about to be revealed. Something that has been behind the scenes, hidden, 
you know, is about to come out. Angel of love. Because that's what it's about. This is what the universe is trying to get people to go back to love. They, it is. You think about Libra. Libra is the relationships. You know, it's the, it's, it's the seventh house. The house of relationships. Love is relationships, right? Romantic relationships. Partnerships. So that's what we got going on here. The angel of love is going... Love is bringing something out that has been hidden. In the name of love, right? That's what it is. In the name of love. It's all in the name of love. It is. It's about partnership. It's about love. It's about... Happiness, contentment. Let's get into the card. The secret's about to be revealed, and it has to do with the relationship. Somebody needs to let go. Stop being so stubborn. Somebody has been stubborn. They've been holding it in, holding it in, holding it in, holding it in. Oh, God. Not moving forward. No confidence. No faith. No strength. But Libra. It's time. It's the final countdown. You think about the justice card. Justice system. You go through a trial. What happens at the end? You get a verdict. It's time for the verdict. It's time. It's time. To make a final decision based on integrity, based, based on love, based on integrity, based on truth. I tell you what, the truth is about to come out. There's been a delay. Somebody's been holding it close, keeping it close, not, not revealing it, not finding the mental strength. Of course we get to. Take a look at that shit, right? That, that's kind of odd, don't you think? <laughs> that Queen of Pentacles, you know, I was thinking about her today. <laughs> because I think about her a lot. Okay, I can't say I don't. Anyhow, um, she is the Queen of Value. Everybody has the Queen of Pentacles in their chart. They do. Everybody, male or female. This is earth sign. This, this full moon is about knowing your value. That's why she's come up day after day after day after day. Because it's knowing about your self-worth and value and acting in, in integrity to, you know... Go after love. This is the Ace of Cups. We got somebody here that is holding on to a situation where there's no joy. There's no happiness. There's discontentment. There's boredom. And it's like they're not seeing the opportunity for love. You know why? Because this person doesn't know their value. There's no need to be here like this. Crying over a loss. Moping over a loss when there's another opportunity. Know your value. If somebody doesn't see your worth... Look in another direction. Know your value. Somebody's making a decision. You know, it's funny. Well, it's funny. But we're not going to... I'm just going to... I'm not going to go into it. I was going to get into astrology, but I'm no astrologist, so I'm not going to. But we know Venus is big. Venus is big. Right now. Libra is ruled by Venus. Taurus is ruled by Venus. And that angel of love. Uh, the empress is the goddess of love. This. The next couple days. From now until whenever. 
It is about focusing on love. It's about focusing on balance. This is a card of balance as well. What is? What do you need to do to bring balance and harmony? What is? What's the right thing to do? What's going to bring you stability and security? Somebody's not receiving the attention or they're not giving the attention, okay? They're not receiving or they're not giving. They're just not seeing that there's an opportunity for love. You know, somebody's missing the opportunity. Missing the opportunity for happiness. We got the moon twice now. Um, and it, the full moon, okay? It's, it's like, I think it's like about midnight, maybe 1 a.m. on the East Coast tomorrow night, Thursday night, or Monday, or Friday early morning, if whatever you want to call it. Okay, so it would be, if, if on the East Coast, it would probably be, it's like midnight, 1, 1 a.m., maybe 1 something, 1, so I don't even know the exact time because I don't get into that, but whatever. It's early, early, early morning on the East Coast, and we got this moon, I'm telling you what, Somebody is being called to go after happiness and go after love and the truth is going to come out. Something is going to be revealed. It's been Something's been going on behind the scenes. There's been hidden forces here. There's been a reason why things have hidden, been hidden. I don't know why though. But something's going to happen fast. Very fast movement. Absolutely. After the delay, something is going to happen really quick. Queen of Cups. And now, this is funny because yesterday, in yesterday's reading, we had the Queen of Pentacles reversed and the Queen of Cups reversed. And here we got them again. Isn't that funny? Now they're both upright, though. I must have fixed my deck. Not likely. But that was a joke. Anyhow, um, ooh, King of Wands. King of Wands. Now, this King of Wands has lost his focus, lost his concentration. He has no more ambition. He has no more strength. This is somebody who's lost their will, lost their will to fight. I'm not, I, I can't, no. This guy don't want to fight. He's given up. Something that has been hidden, that has hindered somebody from moving forward, that has hindered somebody from victory and success and happiness, is about to come out because it's time to bring balance and harmony and love into your life because you deserve it I mean you deserve stability and you deserve love so this is this is this is action being taken I mean swift action is going to be taken Justice is going to be served to somebody, okay? That's no joke. Justice is going to be served. Remember yesterday, the justice card was reversed. This is another deck, okay? This is this deck. This is the other deck. See, they're different. They are different. Okay, this, one, this is the Thelema, and this is the Acranium, Acranium or whatever. This is the one I used yesterday. They're made by the same people. Anyhow, we got somebody here that has probably, or it's about, or maybe, you know, yesterday it's like we had somebody that was a big mess and maybe they had this epiphany overnight or they've, something has happened. I don't even know what, or it's going to happen. Obviously this full moon is coming in. Something's going to happen fast. Some sort of decision is going to be made 
on the fly. So a decision is going to be made on the fly that it could be a choice between two people. This is a choice. Somebody be, may be quickly making a decision in between two people. I mean, we have Earth here, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Pisces all over in this reading, okay? And we have Cancer, we have Leo, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have everybody. It doesn't really matter, but... Here we have Earth and here we have water. Somebody be making a choice between two people and taking, maybe, maybe, maybe making a choice between two people and moving very quickly in somebody's direction. They may have been hiding their true feelings because they didn't have the courage and the confidence, but now they have found it. So I feel like there is definitely going to be some sort of hidden truth or communication that comes through that, you know, is bringing somebody love, balance, harmony. I don't know about you, but it is hot in here. It is hot in here. All is not as it seems. Trust me. Somebody has been hiding their true feelings. So be ready. Be ready. Looks like somebody is making a move and they're making a move fast. Yep, suddenly. Suddenly, suddenly, sun, suddenly, 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 somebody is making that decision to step forward. That's what I see. Maybe they see a brighter future time is now so yeah the time is now somebody somebody realizes that the time is now somebody knows somebody knows it's time time to come together just want to be happy somebody is deciding to let go of the emptiness let go of the sadness and sever ties with one person and I think they're doing that to move forward towards another. So, I mean, that's what I see. I feel like somebody has done a lot of work. They've, they've done a lot of, you know, introspection to figure out how they were going to bring balance and harmony back to their life. And it's like, you know, this is balance and harmony and this is balance and harmony as well. So, you know, we have it all over here in this, this situation right here. Okay, somebody is deciding to... I think step into unknown territory. Somebody may have changed their mind overnight, you know. All of a sudden they might see a person's value and they may be making a choice to let go of somebody that, you know, didn't value them, somebody that brought them down. That's what it looks like to me. I think we have somebody here that is giving up on another person because they see a value someplace else. I mean, I don't know what that value... Maybe they see their own self-value. I mean, that could be the case. I'm, I'm bored. I'm sick of this. I'm not happy here. Somebody is not happy where they're at, and that is no joke. And they may have been holding on to a lose-lose situation. And they're like, you know, it's time. It's time for me to heal. It's time for me to compromise and, you know, come together with my true self. So I feel like we do have somebody that is, or it's not somebody, something that is going to be revealed that has been hidden. I think it's feelings. I think it's feelings. I think that, you know, somebody is deciding that happiness matters. They, they've been keeping quiet. We ha I think we have somebody that's been, been, been like behind the scenes, keeping to themselves. They haven't been communicating. You know, there's been no communication or, vi or I think none. Okay, I'm just going to stick with that because that's what I think it is. I feel like there's been somebody that has been using silence as their tool. You know, they've been using it as their, 
you know, power, you know, to guide them. They've been letting the sil their silence and their intuitive guide, you know, and the universe guide them. And I think now they're receiving the, the clarity that they need that I have an opportunity for love with... You know, I think it's somebody that really has something, a lot to offer. Okay, we got this Queen of Pentacles. She's got something solid, stable in her arms. And this one has love. So we got, we got love here. We got love, a stable, solid opportunity for love. If you put these two people together, it could be one person that has it. It's like, this is the whole package. Maybe somebody is realizing, you know what, I'm the whole package. I know my value. And if you're going to fight with me and you're not going to compromise and you're not going to make me feel loved and you're not going to put in any effort, then I know my value and I'm going after the caring connection that I deserve. We could go on all day because I can spin this reading a hundred times. Somebody is at that crossroads and they are being given the, they're seeing the light. It's like they're being given the information that they need that has been hidden, that has made them confused. It's like the confusion is being, like the veil is being lifted, okay? Something is being made clear. It's like the light is being shown, okay? What has been hidden is going to come to light and that is this right here. What has been hidden is going to come to light. The truth is somebody's going to see the light, okay? Somebody's going to see the light about love and happiness and self-value and perhaps maybe even another person's value and they're taking action. The time is now. They've been hiding. Somebody has been hiding and I think that they're moving forward. That's what I got. Not about you, but I gotta take this shirt off. Whew. Now, should we take these? I think we should. Ooh, yeah. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you, as they have been, haven't they? And these moon cards are caution. All is not as it seems. You may be thinking something about somebody and it's not true. Or you may be thinking about something about somebody and it is true. I think, I think it is something is true. I think, that, I think that you know what this is. I think your intuition is spot on. I think that you are, you know, you have the, this sixth sense at this time. I think your intuition is telling you that you need to follow the path to love. <laughs> and the red flag could be your own inability to move forward. I don't know what the red flags are. We all got different ones. Fear. Red flags. I wonder what they are. What are those red flags? The signs are cautioning you. Have you been paying attention to the signs? Are you ignoring them? Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Somebody may be deciding to, you know, travel. Travel. Go get their partner and let's go. Let's go on a little, let's go on a little, uh, weekend, weekend rendezvous. That kind of thing. So anyway, I feel like... We have somebody here that has patiently waited for somebody to come into their life, whether it's somebody new or somebody old or whatnot. But somebody's coming. I mean, that Knight of Swords is somebody is making a hasty move. We have somebody here that is like, you know, I, I am, I'm going for what I want and don't get in my way because I'll run you over if you do. So, somebody's making, I think somebody's making a choice between two people. 
I do. Two paths. We have two paths here, and then we have these two people here. Somebody is making a choice in between two people. This is a choice. This is a choice. This is making compromises. It's time to come together with a caring connection. I'm sick of, of feeling empty and alone. I'm, I need to sever ties so that I can move forward. It's, it's time to let go of my ego. I just want to be happy. I don't want to fight for something where the other person isn't putting in any effort or they're not even there. This is, this is too sad for me. I'm not feeling loved. I'm bored. I'm discontent. There's no victory and success here. Maybe that's what the red flag is. You're not going anywhere. You're not moving forward. You're stuck. Maybe that's the red flag. Somebody has been holding on tightly to something that doesn't even serve them. It's like it needs to be it needs to be dropped, right? It does. It needs to be dropped to find heaviness and maybe that's the red flag. What the hell are you holding on to that's not serving you? It doesn't do you any good, okay? So I if definitely with the moon card twice, I mean this is going to be a very prominent full moon. You know, the first card is the four of pentacles. That is releasing. It is. So we got somebody that is releasing. It could be a deceptive or a lie or something that, you know, has kept them stuck. Somebody is releasing something that... didn't bring them victory and success, put it that way. And they're taking a new path. They're taking that new road because it's time to go after what I want. So this is what we got here. I mean, we got somebody here that is taking action. I feel like we've somebody have somebody's been through a healing a period of healing. It's taken a bit of time, but I think they've reached that point of it's time to go. I'm going. That's what I have for today. I feel like somebody is making a move. They're moving very quickly after stalling but they were stalling for a reason because they were trying to get all the facts okay we have somebody here that was taking a time out to to make sure that they were you know making the right decision they may have been confused they may have been dealing with some illusions you know whatever but i think we got somebody here that now has the facts and they're moving forward they're choosing i think we got somebody that's choosing between two options Final decision now. Final decision now. Good luck.